93 west of dbb 93 squad i want to say thank you to all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel as well as our returning subscribers for coming back and to everyone that is watching the video that are not subscribed to the channel welcome you guys this video is for our beautiful pisces so in this video, make sure you take what resonates and let what doesn't fly by by. Also, if you're looking to purchase a personal reading or to donate to the channel, also to follow me on social media, all that information will be in the description box down below. So let's get into your reading. Like I said, this video is for Pisces and it's to end off the month of September, you guys. So the first card you guys received here is a fiery climax approaches full moon and aries Ooh, okay okay a new start is coming new moon expect powerful changes new moon eclipse Ooh, okay and the last card you guys received is have faith in your dreams waxing crescent moon so this energy is giving me everything in the divine realm okay the purple is that royalty but it's letting me know that you guys are connected here okay so when it comes to what you want and desire continue to hold your vision to continue to keep faith and move forward expect unex the unexpected honestly um changes are afoot okay and i feel like for some of you this is you know that deep breath breath of fresh air you've been waiting on it's like you've been holding your breath for so long and now you finally either gonna get the recognition that you're looking for or it's you're gonna receive destiny okay so to go into your romance angels you have finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so things are coming together financially and you know kind of holding ground to you know what you want to go into and being creative about it so it plays a factor with each other so once i feel like once you balance both out things will continue to move forward in the financial and career factor for you you have here release your ex the time has come to clear your energy now if you don't have an ex to release i feel like this is release cords from past relationships it could be friends it could be co-workers it could be family this is releasing either the pains or burdens that you feel as though you have with connections here it's cut those cords so you can move forward okay you have here stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance i mean i feel like that card says it all so i'm gonna leave it with that stay optimistic you know okay so the first card you have here is the ten of swords and the ten of swords to me could be either you contemplating on the past um situations that you allow to happen and you feel as though you know you got the butt end of the stick okay i'm just be honest here um you could be seeing the person you desire you want to be with in a relationship with someone else but i feel like you're not seeing it all because you're emotional right now and there's no communication with her sword down or it could be you going through this process of overthinking and feeling like this will never come to that someone is with someone else and they're happy and the energy of that is releasing those past pains releasing those burdens so you can move forward into justice justice is here for you this is allowing yourself to balance things out but to stand strong and firm in your communication skills here I feel like in the past you may have allowed things to roll over that shouldn't roll over and I feel like that's why the ten of swords came first because it's like you're reevaluating your past relationships to move forward here to know what you want and know that you want balance and an equal give and take okay so you go into the nine of wands this is that wounded warrior so this could be that person you were um imagining 
well not imagining dreaming of the person that you want okay they're coming to you after everything for some has blew up in their life or it could be where you know they allow relationships to go and they feel hurt because at this moment they just want you to console them and i feel like that's the energy here with this person the four of pentacles speaks of that holding tight to this connection this person could be dreaming about when they used to touch you or it could be you know them wanting to please you but you're not seeing it from their viewpoint okay i feel like when it comes to the situation you both could be having sleepless nights um I do feel like the Four of Pentacles is giving me the energy of restlessness in a way, okay? So we do have here the Knave of Swords. This person is watching you. They're watching the things you do. They feel like they want to come in and communicate or they want you to say something to kind of break the ice here. But they watch you in all your glory. They feel like, you know, you're such a beautiful person, okay? You light up the world, but they can't seem to figure out or find the words to say to you to bring this out of just a looker, you know, type of energy here. And I feel like this person, they see you being naked. And the naked part is being your authentic self, flourishing in your own energy. And this person feels like you guide them towards the light every time you two together. The king of chalices is here. So the king of chalices is someone that really respects you. They hold you very high up. This person is petting her head. So that means that they have a complete emotional attachment to you. Um, even though things may not look as good now... Hmm, the fl the fiery climax is coming here where this person is no longer going to hold their feelings back from you and make it seem as though, you know, those emotions aren't there. I feel like when it comes to this, this person protects you at all costs, no matter what. Like if somebody say something bad about you, this person will jump to defense in a heartbeat. OK. So you go in here to the hermit. Okay, so the Hermit is giving me back the energy that I received with the Gemini reading. You guys can check that out. Um, it's them in the mode of if they separated from someone, they are lonely, okay? And they feel like maybe you've moved on. Like someone else is touching what's theirs. And I feel like this person is like the fire is died, you know? It's the energy of... I don't know if this is still mine, but I want it, okay? This person feel like you're being naked with someone else. And this also could be past energy where it was self-sabotage, um, manipulation, where the connection was only about sex, okay? And this person feels like, but it's more to it than just that. Like, it's kind of like this person has been battling themselves on saying, no, it was just sex. It was just something that was out, the, you know, that was the same as everyone else. But they're starting to feel those emotions that it wasn't that. They're being honest and true with themselves. And I feel like when it comes to this candle that's lit, that's not lit, um, you put the spark in their life in so many ways. Okay, so we have here the two of pentacles and the two of pentacles again is giving me that looker on energy like, you know, it's kind of that I put you on a pedestal, but I put you on a pedestal because I felt like I wasn't good enough to have you. It's that I have flaws, but I feel like you don't. I feel like this person is trying to balance out their emotions before they step forward, okay? Um, with this Two of Pentacles, it's also giving me the, the energy of, you know, what you can't see, what you can't tell is deep down within. So it's kind of saying like, okay, yeah, you may look one way compared to how she looks, but together you both mesh beautifully, okay? 
So we have here the two of wands clearly deciding what you want, but making action towards that, both of you. I feel like this is going to be a moment of communication. This is going to be a moment of stepping out of your comfort zone, putting down, you know, what was going on and expressing yourself and not allowing it just to, you know, transpire into sex. Having that actual communication, that talk, because I feel like both of you miss each other's conversation here. You miss that fire. You miss someone actually listening to you, both of you, and understanding you without having to constantly explain yourself. You do have the five of wands here. So the five of wands in this deck gives me something totally different. I know it's like that, you know, chaotic energy in the regular tarot. But in this deck, it's giving me that I want to be free with you. I don't care who watches. I don't care who looks. And it could honestly be someone sees you in a relationship with someone else and they feel like, you know, they're just looking on because, again, the sword is here. No communication is here. Um, and their cup, they feel as though their cup is empty. They don't have anything to offer to you. But I feel like this person has a lot to offer. They just need to see that within themselves. They need to keep their own light going so when you come together, you both can brighten up the world. But ultimately, this person wants the Ace of Wands with you. They want that person that's nurturing. They probably want you to have their children, but they want to look at you when you sleep and know that this is a twin flame. So may hybrid guys see that connection. Um, I feel like this person is finally at the point of saying that I don't want anything else but you. Like everything that glitters isn't gold, you know? I feel like this person, they really, really just want to take care of you. And again, I just feel like she has this guy seed in her. So they want a family with you. They want to build. They want, to, you know, it to be a nurturing environment. This person could enjoy when females are pregnant. Okay. I mean, it's just, I, I think it's part of the swelling of the breast, you know, being able to feel the baby kick like his hand is on her stomach like but she's still like comfortable and her arm is wrapped around him so as she's falling asleep he's there still watching you know he wants like i said it's that protection energy here so going into your reading you have here the page of wands with the ten of swords so that gives me the energy of Okay, you know, I need to really make plans on what I want and desire in my life. I need to put those intentions out to the universe. Um, I need to stop blocking myself from this great new adventure here. Because with the Ten of Swords, I'm getting the energy that this is what held this back. This action that hasn't been taken forward. This is what held this situation back for some of you. I feel like when it comes to this page of wands, this is clearly deciding, you know, okay, which way am I going to go about this? I'm going to stop procrastinating here. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to, you know, this is like that pre-action energy for me here. It's like that, okay, we, I'm about to take this, you know, leap of faith. I'm about to make this action, but I just want to make sure a few more things are solid first, Okay. But it's definitely a decision here that's been made. And I feel like this decision been made a long time ago. But it just now needs to come forward. And this person is trying to go in a direction that they desire as well as you. Okay, so it's like you're, you're on two separate paths right now. But you're going to meet in the end with this new beginning. The death card is here. And I feel like that has to do a lot of with the manipulation. The ego was very based in this connection. Jealousy. Um... It could have been where I feel like both of you were kind of pulling strings on both sides, knowing when each other get mad, knowing how to make the other person mad. And that needed to be balanced out. Um, the emperor is here to stand for just, you know, stand up for what the emperor believes in and say, look, I want to come for I want to balance things out. I don't want it to be, you know, any more chaos, any more destruction here. I want the Ten of Cups, and you are my Ten of Cups. The wish fulfillment, the emotional fulfillment, that family life, the stability of being able to communicate with someone without worrying about, you know, anything, okay? 
And I feel like this is that energy of building an empire together. And that's why the emperor is coming towards his empress. Um, and vice versa, you guys. So make it, you know, switch if you have to. If it's not a male that you're thinking of. But I'm only taking what's on the cards. But I feel like this emperor had to realize what role the emperor played in this connection. And for them, it was, you know, getting what they wanted out of it. Instead of worrying about someone else. Okay? So... They've battled their ego and as well as you. And now you both can come together and build. So you have here the Eight of Pentacles with the devil. This is working hard to break those chains, to break those um, addictions, to break codependencies. Feeling like you can't go on without, you know, this or that in your life. Where those were unhealthy situations, okay? You do have the Ace of Pentacles, an offer from the universe, an offer from this person coming in towards you. And not only is that because you've been patient, things have been balancing out, regardless if you can see it or if it's behind the scenes, pay attention to your intuition because I feel like your intuition is telling you what's really going on here because I feel like this person is the type of person with the king of pentacles being here is, is a workaholic. This person knows how to take care of business, take care of family, and they're kind of in the energy of, you know, I'm the head honcho. You know, it's kind of that energy like, look, I'm getting my finances together so I can help support and not so much just worry about myself anymore. Okay, that's the energy here because I feel like this person is saving up to do something big and you have the Ace of Wands, which is a new beginning. Um, this person could be coming in to make an offer to you and they could be moving with the Four of Wands being here, Twin Flame again. Soulmate, if you feel like it's a soulmate, that's fine too. But I feel like this is that, you know, building a stable foundation, not building it on false, you know, action. Or just, you know, how they say, um, oh my goodness, words but no action. I don't want to come out the energy because <laughs> I'm trying to put my own scenario with it, but I don't want to come out the energy. So I'm going to just leave it at that. But this is something that's been waited on, the seven of pentacles this is even though you may feel like this person probably um weren't coming back or isn't coming back they always had that one pinnacle here and that pinnacle makes me feel like you they always had that to the side you, you know it was it's, it's always been in their heart no matter what so now we move on into the nine of cups that's that wish fulfillment the wish you put out to the universe is coming true with the victory the recognition the recognition from healing from the five of swords that's that narcissistic attitude that energy that i've been feeling and now that you both have seen the roles you both play in this situation and walking away from people who either put you in that energy or you put yourself in that energy you're walking away from that and you go into balance the six of pentacles the generosity of giving and taking and receiving you know so here we go into the Queen of Cups, which I feel like is you, Pisces. This is the energy of your anger emotions. It's kind of giving me that Anita Baker, you know, caught up in a rapture. I love, okay, honey. But I feel like this is the... I've been holding my cup for so long that, you know, somebody do deserve it. And I deserve to open up and allow this to happen. Because things are being illuminated to you with the moon card being here. And you're following your intuition here. You're looking at the signs. You know what's coming towards you. It's an offer. For some of you, this offer with the moon card being before it may be hidden. You may not even see it coming. But I feel like this person has took taken a really long time to get themselves together. And feel as though, you know... This is what they want and they want to move forward with it. With the Two of Cups being here, you guys mirror each other. So if you feel like your energy is lightened and you feel like you're on the right path, that's correct because you both are coming on the path to meet each other, okay? So here we go into the Three of Pentacles, which is the rebuild, the work together, the collaboration to move forward, balancing out the yin and yang, not so much of having that devilish energy pop up where you both can't handle it and you both have to step away or you both are hurting each other. 
moving into the sun card with this person you could be very childlike like I feel like this connection here is so beautiful to the point where one moment you can be on one childish energy and when I say childish I mean fun energy and the next moment you can be serious okay because I feel like this is this is why the new beginning is here because you found all nine of your pinnacles. You found your stability. You found your happiness outside of this connection. And not only is it that, you know that you're worth it and you're waiting. The three of wands, you've been waiting on your knight of swords to come in. And this person is rushing in to bring justice to the situation, to communicate, you know, what's been going on, what they desire, what they want, and what do you want. With the Wheel of Fortune, things are turning in your favor. This is that jackpot, excuse me, the jackpot, 777 here. So this is the door opening to this new beginning here. With the Ace of Swords, communication and its victory within this communication. It's, I feel like it's post, like, part of letting down the guard, okay? And the higher, a higher commitment, a complete commitment here instead of, being in, being out is going to be all the way in. It's all or nothing, right? So dropping the defenses when it comes to, but at the same time, both of you are protecting this connection. Why? Because the Ace of Cups is here. This is your emotional fulfillment. This is your wish fulfillment. This is like the doors to emotions just burst wide open because they've been overfilled. It's like the the water is seeping out the doors because you got so so much emotion for this connection, both of you, that now it can flow. It, it's like a clog in the river. And the clog is moved, is pushed, and now things come forward. You could be in the, what is this, the Eight of Swords energy where you feel like, you know, you don't know what's going on. But I feel like if you really step back, listen to your intuition, you will feel everything that's coming towards you. Um, grant you, communication may not be there because you have a lot of swords here. But I feel like when it comes to the situation, it's take off your own blindfold. Rescue yourself and everything will fall in line. And I feel like this person is going to come in and kind of give you that rescue as well. But it's like... I feel like you don't know it's on the way, if that makes sense. So for your Oracle card, you guys have here, the presence of love will always cast out fear. Afraid to step in this new beginning, especially with the seven of wands that was under there. That was the energy of I'm protecting myself. And sometimes it's you fighting yourself. You're not really protecting yourself. You're fighting yourself. You were fighting yourself from this connection, this new beginning here, okay? The next one you have is I am the dreamer of my dream. There you go. And for the last oracle, guys, you have obstacles are detours in the right direction. So if you are not in connection with this person, or if you are in connection with this person, then you may feel like things are a little wonky. I feel like that's just an obstacle put in the way to guide you in the right direction to heal and move forward, okay? So, you guys, this is the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If your bell notifications are not turned on, please turn your bell notifications on. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please give the video a thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next readings. Have a great day. Bye.